Blam, blam, blam. You ask your dad if he came home. He said he was going to get the cigs, but he didn't come home. He didn't get cigs. He didn't even bring that motherfucking milk. What? Dad. Why won't you come back and play Mario? Said his son. Cause we are looking to do something fun. Fuck all that Mario shit. This is a Zelda stream. But you guys know that all I do is lie to my chat. Let's play Mario. I'm fast as fuck, boy. Yeah. Looks like the chain chomp, like, bit of Mario just doesn't come out of the butt. Like, I wonder if you can, like, get control of Mario, BLJ out of that little area that you're probably... I imagine Mario's sprite is, like, down there. People have had to try to do that shit. I imagine, since they have the source code, they can watch and see, like, what is available to do during this. What if he doesn't want to be controlled? It's true. Does anybody want to be controlled? It's weird. Human beings want to be free but they also want to control but they don't want to be controlled kind of a design flaw i want to be controlled so yeah there's definitely like some some sex stuff for sure but it's called being dominated i'm not talking about just sex guys come on i'm talking about just like in general like people want like freedom they want expression and don't really like being in control maybe i think we like to be in control of some things some things like you're just like i dude i don't know somebody else fucking figure it out you don't want to be in control of everything because that's just overwhelming what does freedom mean to me it means fries freedom fries freedom means that I can fire my gun while balls deep in a squealing hog. Notice that's still fucking illegal in America. Land of the free, my ass. My fucking dick. Land of the free, except my dick. Listen, if I want to be balls deep in a squealing hog, can't do that in America. So why is it called land of the free? That one Cards Against Humanity card? Yeah. You know that Reddit that's like r slash oddly specific? Like there's so many examples of that in Cards Against Humanity where there's just like some cards that are just like, what? Like, I know a lot of them are references, but like, pooping back and forth forever was like, without the reference, it just seems so fucking random. And then once you see the where it comes from, you're like, okay, that's still very specific. Fuck. Yeah, it's the land of the free, but Mario won't fucking get in a cage. Mario, uh abhors the cage, demagnetized to it. What about the general concept of being balls deep? Like, like a metaphor? If you're metaphorically balls deep in a squealing hog, I would imagine you're really dedicated in trying to figure out what's wrong. <laughs> you're like balls deep, you know? You're balls deep trying to figure this out. What if you're balls out? Balls out in a squealing hog? I don't know what that, that doesn't make any sense. Jules, are you free? No. Are we, are we free? I feel like freedom is a concept that's a constant reminder that we can never have it as silly skeleton men in these flesh prisons. Silly, silly skeleton man with my balls deep. My balls are deep within my soul. Jules, you're not Sans. I didn't say I was Sans. He's not the only silly skeleton. I feel freer than other people who I would consider less free than me. Coming in here made you feel pretty free? Hell yeah. Land of the free, family jewels jam. Like, get up there, you little son of a bitch. Are you, are you freer than a fourth grader? Yes, I would say I'm much freer than a fourth grader. School is fucking prison, dude. It's insane how much of your life as a kid and a teenager is within the confines of your school, unless you're homeschooled, obviously, but like, it is quite wild when I think about how many problems I had at that age. It was such a matter of like perspective. So many problems just felt like on the scale of the world, but it was within the confines. How do I explain it? The outside world doesn't really like exist to you. You're, you're almost like preparing for that by going to school, right? So in the moment, your world is the school, right? So when you think that the girl you have a crush on and you're simping but has no idea that you exist that's the one and if she doesn't want to be with me then my life is fucking over <laughs> kind of about perspective there but yeah since i feel like freedom is like on a scale right are you free is a hard question to answer are you freer than a fourth grader? Much easier to answer because it's it's not just it's not like a binary thing. I think freedom is different things to different people. But when I think about like how I felt when I was in fourth grade, I wanted to be free. I had this desire to be free because I didn't feel free enough because I was 
confined to school. I didn't like school. I wonder how. I wonder if that's the same for people who were good at school or did like school. Now I don't have this feeling of wanting to be more free. And so that's how I make that judgment. I don't think I'm freer than somebody from Canada to get healthcare that I need. If it's easier and more accessible in another country, it's freer for them, right? Or the option to be able to go outside. When you're stuck in a classroom and you're literally not allowed to leave, like that feels like jail. It feels like I want to go outside. You cannot. That is the antithesis of freedom. I was good at it. Yeah, like I feel like a lot of people were good at school, but they hated it still. There are some people who like really enjoy learning. And I think there's also some people that like figured it out. You know, they figured out what they needed to do to be able to do good at school bad at school. Yeah, I was bad at school too, until I wasn't, and then I was on Dean's list. I can't remember what happened, but I remember like one semester I was like, oh fuck, <laughs> this is important, and then I just got good grades. I think the only thing I changed was I just did homework. It was like when you do your homework, you actually like learn the shit, so you just do better on tests. Fuck. I thought maybe I'd have a little bit of time to be able to get a flip off of it. It was when I had freedom in college. Yeah, well like that brings up the topic of like, everybody should be free, right? Freedom should be a right, I guess, maybe. Um, but a lot of kids, a lot of adults, young adults, go to college and then they have the freedom to just walk out of class, not go to class, and no one's gonna like come after them. You're not gonna get detention. You're just not gonna get a good grade. It's like real world, world consequences. Should the person who's very likely to skip class and waste a bunch of money be free? Is that your decision to make? And I guess that's where I come from when I say like, why do we all want to control yet we don't want to be controlled? I control Mario, but he clearly fucking hates it. Why not if freedom means choice? I don't know, like I just, I, I don't know if freedom does mean choice. Real world consequences require an amount of um, understanding of the future. This is something where uh, I think kids with ADHD have the most difficulty because it's almost impossible for kids with ADHD to think about the future because they're so overwhelmed with what's happening in the present. Like, I'm overstimulated, maybe, by this classroom, maybe fluorescent lights, I think that's more autism, but like, can't pay attention, I'm bored out of my mind, I need to do something, so you leave class, right? And you convince yourself very easily that you can do that. But then when you do that for a long period of time, you realize like, like, wow, wow, my fucking grades suck. I just need to remember to stay in class because otherwise the punishment is now I'm going to get bad grades in the future. But it never fucking works because it's so wrapped up in the present. So I'm wondering how much of that is a contributing factor or the main contributing factor is like you go through school so long that is so regimented and you need a hall pass to go to the fucking bathroom as if you are a fucking prisoner and then suddenly you go to college. There's no like weaning. It's just like, and now you have all this freedom. I think a person's value shouldn't be determined by their grades, but that's something that I think is solved by like trade schools and stuff. It's weird that default, it's just everybody should go through a school system. But like, I think the things that you learn in, in at least most countries regimented school systems is things that you, everybody needs to know. I took two years off after high school before college. Yeah, I knew what I was going to do with my life, but I mean, I started YouTube between high school and college. And then once I realized it was a thing, I was like, like, oh, maybe music is what I'm going to do for the rest of my life. So maybe I should go to school for music. And then I studied it. I learned a lot about it. And then, yeah. So I went to school with almost like a different kind of thing than most people are doing. You dropped out of college after a month. It was chill though. Yeah. I mean, it's not for everybody. It took me 12 years after high school before I knew what I was going to do with my life. Yeah. It's, I think it's one of those, um, do you guys know the, the principle of, uh, blue dolphin? It's a psychological concept in which, like, if I tell you guys purple elephant, right? Don't think about a purple elephant right now. Don't think about a purple elephant. You'll find that because you're actively trying not to, it's almost impossible, right? This is kind of like a really easy example of how these things can create pressure and actually make things worse. When you're told you need to know what you need to do when you, when you get to college, it creates an anxiety and actually makes it harder to be able to figure out what you want to do with your life because there's all that pressure. Same thing with don't think about a purple elephant. The actual solution to the purple elephant thing is a blue dolphin. Something that you tell yourself you're gonna think about in place of the purple elephant. What you learn is like, I'm gonna tell you, don't think about a purple elephant. And you're gonna prepare for that by saying, I'm gonna think about a, a blue dolphin instead. And then when you do that, it's a lot easier. So it's all about kind of replacing that kind of mental behavior. I love these little overly simplistic ways of helping scaffold understanding into like bigger psychological concepts. In your mind the blue dolphin is the purple elephant? In no, it's a different thing. Like, it's gotta be a different thing. Say you're addicted to crystal fucking meth. Oh shit. 
Yeah, your baby's over here. <laughs> the more you actively try to tell yourself, I really need to not do meth. <laughs> I can't, I can't do it. I can't do it. I gotta, I gotta not do it. Stop thinking about meth. <laughs> I'm addicted to Mario's ass. Yeah, okay, so say you're addicted to Mario's ass. Like, you love that taste. You love that plumber chocolate starfish, and you're just like, okay, I need to stop because it's affecting my life. Your addiction to eating Mario's ass is so life debilitating that you can't do normal tasks without thinking about uh, Mario's fucking cornhole. Tongue punching Mario's fart box. The answer is not to constantly think about, oh god, I need to not think about Mario's anus. It's, I have to replace it with something else. So Luigi's butthole. I haven't heard tongue punch a fart box. Yeah, that's, that's an old one. Whose butthole is tighter? I think Luigi's butthole would be tighter. I mean, I think Mario's doing a lot more like slides. He's literally like the, it's like stretching it out. Daisy be giving Luigi the strap. You think Luigi's into pegging? Yeah, actually, no. No, I think Mario's gonna be into pegging more than Luigi. Jack was the one actually who, who brought this up to me. That it's actually the people who are the most successful and the most like CEOs who are like in charge of like multiple employees and have like a, those are the kind of people that are more likely to be subs because their life is already so dominating that the thing that gets them off is being submissive. And I think Luigi is always in the shadow. I think when it comes to the bedroom, when you got Luigi in the sheets, He's fucking whipping and shit, dude. It's like why you always find like the politicians like strapped to their fucking, their bedposts like with a fucking gag and a fucking feather for their ass. Cause they want to, they, they need to be tickled. Yes. What? Oh my God. I don't think I've ever actually missed that. You said that I didn't, I've never missed, I never missed getting him in the jump. Fuck. Ah, uh, just ever so slightly late. This is what I would do if I had spilt hot coffee on my crotch. I'd go...